Today is the ultimate test to understand whether coasting, regen, or in fact cruising is better for efficiency. We are on a very short run of 2.3 kilometers and we are going to do this loop a number of times to compare in an urban environment what is the difference in efficiencies. Let's go. Okay, we're in full regen. Let's go. No regen. Try the cruise mode. Now, one more going full regen. genital and just breaking So I'm in sport mode. It's for regen. Let's go. And a 
of wrong one three three six seventy six Okay, that's it. That was second round, 27635. 27635. All right, that was number three, three or four, 46. And that was the cruise control. Right, it was round four, it was region three one four seven three. Okay, that's it. That was no region at all, and just breaking, and I was two eight six thirty two. Three thirty seventy nine. That was the sport run. So let's look at what happened here. We have the full regain. We did two runs because in the first one we had a car that we needed to avoid and we reaccelerated. So we lost a little bit of energy there. But the full regain number two is at one hundred four watt hours per kilometer. A great performance, by the way, and. It in fact sets the record more or less for the best performance across the lot. If you look at cruise control next, 111, it's not that different. Of course, you wouldn't be cruise controlling at 20 miles an hour in a suburban environment, but never mind that, it's just a test. Sport mode, which is supposed to be much more punchy in terms of how it uses the battery, and it was indeed the fastest run well it's still a hundred and eight watt hours per kilometer because we regen the lost energy and then when we get to coasting which in my mind should be the most efficient especially if you use the paddle braking for when you are that stop or when you, you need to slow down well yeah it is the best performance at 103 across the, the six runs but the imprecision on the overall test makes it at best marginal as a win now even coasting so no regen at all and just pedal braking not bothering for a minute whether you're optimizing it still gives you 109 watt hours per kilometer so i would say it's definitely a wash pretty much for any mode and would conclude that you should use what it is that you feel most comfortable with. Now there's one that's slightly different, and I didn't show because embarrassingly I run out of film to use an old terminology. The final run I did was hypermiling, if you will, in that I was trying not to accelerate at all. It was a much slower run as well. Now there you have 94 watt hours per kilometer, um, not using the regen but indeed using the paddle braking so that best performance and in that case that's a reasonably different number that means there is something going on there but again on the first six runs in driving normally it's a plus or minus four percent difference so nothing to ride home about and that's my conclusion for today just use whatever you feel most appropriate for your driving style in those conditions because frankly it's not gonna matter very much the car does it for you it does regen the energy in any case and it seems to be doing that very well thank you for watching please like and subscribe so i can carry on doing those videos and i'll see you next time